Hey guys, Kiko Loredo here, guitarist from Megadeth, and I'm a guitar fanatic. I'm a gear fanatic. I've been collecting guitars and pedals and amplifiers throughout my whole career. And uh, I'm from Brazil, so I have a lot of gear in Brazil. I live in LA, so I have a lot of gear in my house in LA. I also have a lot of guitars in Nashville at the Megadeth camp. And also my wife is from Finland, my kids are from Finland. So we are always there. So I have a lot of equipment also in Helsinki, in Finland. It's just a little bit complicated to manage all that. So I decided it's time to downsize a little bit. So that's why I'm here doing this video and this uh, partnership with Reverb, because I believe, you know, instead of having the guitars in the storage somewhere in Brazil, uh, just, it's better if somebody just take this guitar and just play and, and, and do something with this guitar. You know, I have a, a strong emotional connection with all the equipment that I have because at some point it was part of my life and now I just realize it's better if somebody can take this instrument and, you know, just play it, use it and uh, uh, hang on the wall, whatever, but do, do something with the instrument instead of being there somewhere in Sao Paulo, Brazil, in storage. By the way, when I go to visit my mother, and she has like over 50 guitars there <laughs> at her house, and then she always asks me, what, why, why do you have so many guitars? And then, you know, I don't have an answer. I just like, you're never gonna understand, but I need to have those guitars. So let's talk about the Kiko 100, my Ibanez signature guitar. So the red one uh, is discontinued now, so it cannot find on stores, but it's pretty much the guitar made in Japan that you could buy um, in stores a few years ago. But those ones are the ones that I was using during, during the Dystopia tour from 2015 and 2018. I used some of the red ones for recording a Dystopia. So now you have it. I have the Kiko 200, is the new one. This guitar I've been using during the process of composing the new album for Megadeth. Um, also, all my solo concerts and clinics and all the videos that I, I posted on YouTube. I've been using the Kiko 200. It's a gorgeous guitar, it's beautiful. So that's from my own collection. You have to have it. You have to have it. So let me talk about a very special guitar for me. Tajima Guitars, it's a Brazilian brand, but this guitar specifically was built um, by a very prestigious uh, master builder from Brazil, Marcio Zaganin, you know, for metal, for shredding, it has 27 frets. But the, the interesting fact of this guitar is the, the fretboard. All the wood, all Brazilian woods, by the way, but the fretboard is made of uh, Jacarandá people translate as uh, Brazilian rosewood, and it's, it's not possible to, to have anymore, you know, it's illegal. This guy, this master builder, uh, Marcio, he, he bought the wood from uh, the city hall in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So they were changing the floors of the, the, the city hall, something like that. He bought the, the wood from the floor, and this wood is this Jacarandá, Brazilian rosewood, that has, I don't know, maybe 100 years old or something like, really old. I'm, uh, I believe that it's always about the player, not much about the wood, right? But it's a, it's a cool fact, it's a cool thing to have. I wanna say something here in this video. I wanna know who's gonna buy this guitar. I wanna be friend of this person. So all of those guitars, they are so important for me. And then I wanna, uh, I wanna know the person who's gonna carry on, is gonna use the guitar, is gonna, I don't know, collect or something. But I wanna have a, uh, I wanna have a friendship with this person, you know. Um, anyways, so now let me talk about the Akin classical guitar. It's a nylon classical guitar. I love to have a great nylon guitar with me all the time. A friend of mine, Ulysses. Um, he told me about Akin from Germany. He said, like, you have to have one of those. So you can, you can sell all of your nylon um, classical guitars and have only this one. So that's what I did. I mean, for classical guitars, 
the way to go if you really want to ha uh, have a top level one it has to be handmade it has to be handmade it's an amazing classical guitar the bass that comes from that instrument is something that i never heard in my life on my album sounds of innocence the first track awakening prelude you can hear the sound of this instrument so let me talk about another great classical guitar that is on the list takamini hirade and the takamini is a very legit classical guitar for for its price is an amazing instrument it's great for touring it's great for recording so i have my guitar the classical akin in brazil that normally is the guitar that i use for studio work but then i was invited to join megadeth so i took my takamini hirade to the studio and then because i just to have with me because i need to have a, a, a classical guitar with me all the time i was not expecting to record on megadeth album a nylon classical guitar but it happened that uh, Dave Mustaine and I, we, uh, we composed a song called Conquer or Die, and the intro of the song is only classical guitar. So the song Conquer or Die from Megadeth from the Dystopia album was recorded with that Takamine Hirade. So let me talk about the Lenny amplifier Lionheart. So I've been using Lenny from, for many, many years in the 90s. And then when I moved to Los Angeles, I remember I want to try the new model, the Lionheart. So I got, you know, the, the head and the cabinet. I remember Dave Grohl from Foo Fighters was using it as well. He has this classic British tone. So yeah, so I said like, oh, okay, let me try. So I got that and for, for quite a while, because I was just um, moving to LA, for quite a while, that was my amp. So all the small gigs that I did in LA when I just arrived, some videos, I did the DTC uh, videos using that amp. So yeah, so it was a very important amp for me because that was my amp for a year, you know, uh, when I just arrived in LA. Another guitar that is very special for me, a Grammy winner guitar, is the RG752 from Ibanez. So this guitar was the guitar that I used maybe 90% of the time for recording rhythms for the Megadeth album Dystopia. So basically um, I used the Kiko 100, the red one, and this RG752 on the album and the Takamine Hirade. So there you have it. So you can have a Grammy winner guitar, um, the guitar that was most of the time recording the riffs on Dystopia. Another guitar that is pretty cool is the Ibanez Talman. And I've been using this guitar uh, on my latest solo album that is not out yet, but uh, I use it for cleans or some specific melodies. And also I did several YouTube videos and Instagram videos using the Talman guitar. Uh, another one is the Roadcore. The Roadcore you can find me using on my DVD the white balance and uh, I use in a specific song I use that guitar and then I always had it home because of the fixed bridge so if I want to have you know use different tunings that was my guitar to go for you know just drop tuning or open tuning so was always that this guitar was always there for me so I could experiment different tunings whenever was uh, necessary so that was the road core we have a, a, a bunch of pedals there on the list, but uh, there's an interesting and very cool um, brand from Brazil, GNI, and uh, you should check it out. I have my signature pedal there. I have some uh, some from Andy Timons, really good, and the chorus are really, really good. So they're never enough, never enough. We need more pedals. Thank you very much. Please visit reverb.com. Check out my list, Kiko Loreiro Artist Shop, and um, maybe it's you, the right person, the right person that's gonna take my instruments to a great home. Thank you very much.